Aunt Patty. Here. Bobby Crane. Here. Arthur Dean. Present. Good. Now that everyone's present and accounted for, here's the deal. This man here is a simp. He's also my prisoner. Now, if you're all wondering why I've locked you inside, well, it's not to keep you in. It's to keep the Institute out. That's right. They got men all over the Commonwealth looking for this some bitch. So I'd appreciate it if you just showed a little patience while we rest up. Come morning, we'll be over your skin and out of your hair. Is the nonsense dangerous? Why not just shoot him? Sure, I could do that. Just cut the damn red wire and let him die. But then who's gonna explain to the scientists over at the facility why their fancy synthetic android is nothing more than a lifeless doll? See, I need him intact so that they can poke and prod and do whatever it is science-y types do to their guinea pigs. Except you've got the wrong guy, Jack. Or should I say, the wrong Jack guy. And here's your proof right there. Oh my god. What the? There's two of them. That's right. Two Jacks, one synth. Yeah, but he's not the synth. I am. Well, you're certainly as ugly as he is. But short of shooting you dead, I don't suppose you have any proof. Not really. You can open us up, but chances are you'd find the same bones. Ah, he's right. Ready and how the Institute makes exact replicas. Right down to the teeth. Are you kidding me? Jesus. You shouldn't have come, Jack. Now they know. You know how it is, Jack. I just couldn't leave you to die, either. That'd be a little too heavy, even for me. Well, stick me in a jar and call me Dill. This is what I call a real fucking pickle. Oh, God. Now what are we gonna do? It's simple. We lock this place down until we figure out who's got the nuts and who's got the bolts. And I have a feeling this scabber over here can help us. You, come over here. You know sure. this man? He's been acting a little strange lately, but truth? a synth? Is he a synth? That just seems so outlandish.